all right guys before i start the video just wanted to tell you guys that this is all my opinion so if you don't agree with me that's perfectly fine also this list is not in any particular order so without further ado let's start the video What's up guys, Vexmaster101 here, and today we're counting down my top 5 hopes for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So like I said at the beginning of this video, this is all my opinion, so if you have your own opinions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. So without further ado, let's start with number 10, even though this isn't really in an order, but I'm still gonna count it down. So yeah, number 10, Pokemon and Trainer Fusion. Now this is a subject that has been touched on a lot by the theory of the diamonds in the Pokemon Sun and Moon logos, um, at least the Japanese ones which I'll have on the screen. And basically these diamonds are thought to be some kind of fusion, kind of like in the anime, but I'm not going to go too much into it, you can kind of find it anywhere. But how this would work is basically, it looks like if you look at the trainers on the... on. The most recent trailer, which I'll have on the screen, they have these bracelets with these diamonds on them. Maybe that bond could bring them together into some sort of fusion. Now, my one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Tyranitar Tube, which I'll have in that little eye in the corner. Um, you can tap on that and go to his channel. He has touched on a subject that is very interesting. What if you can only fuse with your starter? That would make it easier for, for Game Freak, so for the um, fusions. But it seems like in the beginning of the game, your trainer gets that bracelet. So maybe it can be only your starter and it's some kind of bond. Now I'm not going to go too much into this. And I would agree that some fusions might look a little derpy. But either way... This is just a pretty cool idea, so Game Freak, do it Game Freak. Everybody's excited for this, hopefully. Either way, let's go to our number 9. Pokemon being able to follow you. Now I know this is a really, really, really simple thing, but it actually isn't a simple thing for Game Freak. Because, for Game Freak, they have to implement like, what, over 700 Pokemon plus the new ones into 3d models i mean that sounds pretty hard but it would be cool if they could at least make our starters follow us oh you know what they have just introduced that our pokedex will be rotom so what if rotom could float behind us maybe i don't know just a little thought because in pokemon soul silver and heart gold that was like one of my favorite things for some reason i know it sounds kind of dumb but um yeah, I just love doing that. And also in Diamond and Pearl, I like how they added that one little, like, park, I guess, place where Pokemon could follow you, and only certain Pokemon could. It was, like, only, like, cute Pokemon, I think. It was really, really cool to do it in there, but I wish th that you can do it, like, all over the region. So, yeah, just a little thought. On to our number three. Alright, so this next one is a little bit strange, and it's not very likely to happen, but the ability to be able to customize and name your rival now for some reason the ability to name your rival has been taken away by gen 5 ever since um there will be multiple rivals and i doubt this is gonna happen because we already know a rival's name is how and we already know like what he looks like but you know how sometimes when you pick a girl your rival's the guy that you didn't choose and when you pick a guy it's a girl i want to at least be able to customize and name that character i mean why not and by customize i don't mean like clothes and all that stuff i just mean the basic customize like skin color and hair color that's about it so yeah just a little thought on to our number two so my next hope for sun and moon is that there will be some kind of new feature or like kind of like the pokemon contests and stuff like that but something a little bit more fun that we can do after we've beaten the game because it feels like once you've gone through the story mode and the post game 
you really have nothing to do apart from breeding or like a few other like kind of small stuff but i want to be able to have something kind of like oh i forgot what it was called it was in gen 3 i think it was in gen 4 i'm actually not sure um i forgot what it was Va battle resort something like that that would be perfect now a lot of people ask for this I don't re I've never really played the Gen 3 games like after the story so I don't really know much about this but it just feels empty after you've gone through the story you know so I just wish they added this like small thing that would make this game awesome even after you finish the story because breeding and competitive battles can only get so fun until they get old so yeah on to my number one a new and improved gts and wonder trade so if you don't know what gts is or wonder trade wonder trade is basically you put a pokemon into wonder trade and you get matched up with a random person and you trade with whatever pokemon you put in now with gts you put in whatever pokemon you want and then you also put in what pokemon you want in return and then other people can just search through the list and if they're willing to trade, then they'll trade it with you. Now, this is a really, really bad thing because I've seen people asking for, like, mews for Weedles and Caterpies. Like, what? That That's not worth it. What I think should happen is, if you want to ask for a Shiny, you should give a Shiny. If you want to ask for a Legendary, you should give a Legendary. And if you want to ask for a starter, you should give a starter. You know, you should give a Pokemon that's just as good. Otherwise, there's no point. Now, a little bit different with Wonder Trade. With Wonder Trade, if you put in, um, let's say you put in a Zekrom. Then you can only Wonder Trade with somebody who's willing to Wonder Trade a Legendary. Now, I can see how this is a, there's a downside to this. Because not many people trade really strong Pokemon in Wonder Trade all of the time. But th there's just a th this is just a thought. Wow, I have no idea why my voice went that low. <laughs> but either way. Um, and yeah, if you give a really weak Pokemon, then you should re get returned a really weak Pokemon. Because this makes absolutely no sense. But yeah, anyways guys, that's it for today. Remember, you can leave your hopes for Pokemon Sun and Moon in the comments below. Let me know how hyped you are by leaving a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to join the Vex Army, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.